the phenomenon of COVID-19 happened. The churches were shut down and a lot of people gravitated towards the internet looking for spiritual guidance. They're realizing that Catholic internet excitement, a lot of these aren't healthy or they're nonsense. Promoting fear, seers that aren't approved. Turn to the gospel, the message of Christ, which is an unchanging truth. And any prophetic post-biblical revelation that claims that we ought to do this or that, in so doing, shifts our attention off that of the gospel theme we must reject. Now, when I say shifts our attention off of the gospel theme, I'm talking about faith, hope, love. This is the centrality of the gospel message. It is not worry, fear, fright. And that speaks to even when there's an approved mystic or a mystic that might have been approved in the past, every message that she has could be taken out of context. It could be, Absolutely. It could be, I've read false prophecies, false seers, that are posted on false websites claiming to be Catholic. And there are no theologians on this website guiding it. What a surprise. Saying that the church is going to hell in a handbasket and Freemasons are in control. And the Pope is surrounded by Freemasons and he's going to die on a certain date. And all these things always never come to fruition. A failed prophecy.